I just uh, uh, so fired up um, for our team. Um, great uh, road win. That's one thing that, that uh, you know, we talked about it last week or we talked about it Monday that we haven't been good on the road. And Man, uh, I thought the guys really uh, were focused all week long. We had some of our best practices Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, you know, that we got some guys back due to Banks and just Cy Pierre played um, exceptionally well tonight um, and just uh, uh, found a way to not just win the game but pull away and, and, um, and win a big conference game on the road. You know, that, that was huge. Um, excited for the team. They're really excited because, you know, they, they're, they, we've said it before, I say it all the time, very mature, intelligent team. They understand that we haven't played well on the road. And so I think they were very determined to come in and play the way they did tonight. You know, stat sheet, we come in and, and uh, play a Baylor team that we only give up, you know, 17 yards rushing. Uh, Tim DeRuder and, and his staff on that side of the ball did a phenomenal job as far as, um, you know, stopping the run, uh, keeping them in situations where they were uh, behind the sticks. And then you turn around also with that. I think they were, uh, we stopped them uh, four times on fourth down. And uh, that put us in some good situations on offense. Uh, came out again tonight, and I look at it, Taj Brook, 31 carries. I think that's probably his career high carry-wise because I think his career high was uh, coming out of the West Virginia game. And then he had 171 yards uh, rushing. Um, really proud of him and, and uh, you know, what he did. And, and uh, you, you look at some of the pains that we've had. Um, we only give up one sack. Uh, we sacked them six times. So it was just uh, really putting the game together on both sides of the ball and, and playing really well. So really proud of the team. So with that, uh, open up with questions. Coach. Late down defense was excellent. Five of 21 combined for them on third and fourth down. How well does that put you, what kind of position does that put you in, you know, to, on offense and just what does that do to speak to the defense? Man, you know, it's huge. Um, there's a couple things um, that when we were uh, talking this week uh, that we haven't done well, and, and that's uh, both sides third down. Uh, we weren't very good on third down in the first half on offense but we were really good on defense. And, uh, you know, it, it just says a lot by uh, playing critical downs. We call that the money down, uh, both third and fourth down. And, um, again, can't say enough about uh, the game plan that, that uh, Tim had. I mean, you know, some of the yards that they had uh, late, you know, we blew a coverage, uh, didn't communicate all the way across what we're in, and they had a, you know, a big play to number 80. You know, they threw the ball for um, – like 324 yards, but you know, if you look at those two and you say that they're only going to rush for 17 yards, and I would feel like we we're going to win the game, and so um, really excited about that. And then, like you said, four of 15 on um, third down and one of six on fourth down, and uh, that's where the game was won right there. Coach, it seemed like for a few weeks the tight ends had been doing a lot that wouldn't show up, show up on the stat sheet. They were having two touchdowns tonight. I mean, talk about his performance and just that room as a whole. Yeah, you know, um, right now, just talking about the team as a whole, we're next man up mentality. You know, Mason didn't get to play tonight, um, you know, and, and he's kind of day to day right now of when we can get him back. Uh, but that's the thing. We've got really good players. Uh, we've got really good depth, um, you know, and, and we've got guys that uh, come to practice and to work every day and, and prepare themselves to play at a high level. Uh, not surprised, you know. Baylor made some big plays the last time we run it, won a conference road game, you know, in Iowa State and made a big catch. And, you know, tonight I uh, thought the scheme allowed him to get open and made some really big plays. And, you know, Barron put it on him. And, and, uh, and I'm happy for that kid because, man, he's, he, he went through it, you know, a couple weeks ago with a banged up shoulder and has fought his way back to be able to play tonight. Coach, I'm curious about your defensive line. Steve Blast for the first time this season. Uh, Miles Cole as well, due to Banks, Charles Esther, keep going on and on about those guys. Make, make a ton of plays. Well, it's fun to watch Charles. You know, um, Charles is a kid that uh, he, he just he, – he's worked himself into a guy that can we can put on the field and, and trust. And, and he's one of the best teammates we have, um, just a great kid. And it, it was really fun to see him get home. I'll tell you what, with Steve Linton, uh, all the credit goes to Mike Ramirez and uh, our training staff because 
you know, it was Thursday, and we weren't sure if Steve was going to play. And, and uh, uh, Mike, he's got an ankle, and Mike got him up uh, at the facility at 545 on Friday morning, got him in the pool, got him loose, started to look better. As soon as we landed and got to the hotel, Mike had him in the pool, you know, rehabbing his, his uh, ankle. And it was one of those deals we didn't know how much he was going to play, uh, but we were going to get him in situations where he could go rush the passer and um, felt like that we had an advantage there. Um, that probably helped him a little bit wanting to play because, you know, he felt like he had an advantage, you know, and showed up with two sacks, and I think he knocked the ball out twice. Um, so it, it was good. And then, you know, can't say enough about getting Duda back too because that gives us four old guys and the young guys. Um, you know, we, we brought seven defensive tackles because we thought that's what kind of game it was going to be. And uh, just really happy to see him. He had some big tackles in the run game. Last one from me. You know who Cole Spencer is from the Jackson Children's Club. How do you feel about offensive line did, and is there any update on the Colts? Um, you know, Cole hurt his foot in the last game. You know, he's going to be week to week. Uh, right now, you know, it's a little bit like Jacob Rodriguez. Uh, we've got him in a cast, so it takes off. It's not – nothing's broke, but uh, to take any kind of weight off of it. Um, then we've got to decide, you know, He's a seventh-year guy. Can we get it, you know, the uh, something in his shoe that can, you know, he'll be able to play. But I feel great about Jacoby. You know, he's started a lot of games. Um, you know, offensive line-wise, I thought that, you know, they did some game, some stuff uh, to take away some of the uh, our, our counter game. But um, there was also some big runs. Uh, you know, Taj had a 24-yard run, which was the long – um, but uh, again, 5.5 yards of carry, you know, I'm going to take that every time if you're going to tell, tell me that, you know, uh, we're going to be able to, he's going to have 171 yards. You know, he's just a workhorse right now. I think uh, the fumble really affected him uh, just because the type of kid he is, he cares so much. And so I think he was really pressing at the end of the half. There was a, there was a play that we blocked really well that he bounced that we could have, uh, it would have, might even have been a touchdown. And so I think he was really pressing, but, you know, came back, came in halftime, you know, we really settled down, went back to what we were doing, and um, you know, I thought O-line played great. Coach, uh, the first game back in the game, just what did it mean to you to get the win here Friday? Yeah, you know, a lot of emotions. Uh, we, we, uh, we usually don't come to the stadium. Uh, we landed yesterday and came to the stadium. Uh, that was kind of for two things. Number one, to do a little something different because we haven't played well on the road. And uh, we've got a lot of young guys that have never played here before, so I wanted to be able to see it. And then just go about their business like we were playing at home. Uh, it was emotional, you know. Um, I, you know I, I was here for five years. I was part of uh, 19 playing for the conference championship. In 21, I left, but, you know, the, they won the conference championship. Uh, a little bit more removed, you know. I think if it was last year at Baylor, it would have probably been even more emotional just because of the number of guys that were on the team. Um, still got a lot of kids that I absolutely love that I was a part of recruiting. Um, but um, at the end of the day, I told Chris Lovell, uh, it's all about the conference win. You know, it's all great and fine, but I'm all I care about is winning, you know, getting the, getting the win in, in this conference. And, um, you know, getting us on the right track. Told them again, and I'm just going to keep at it. Is just be the team that we knew that we know we are, and, and that was something tonight. We we did really well. Yeah, you know. Um, Last year, we played their wide zone really well, and their uh, uh, B run was the pin and pull. Um, they had a little bit of success with the pin and pull tonight, but um, you know we worked the heck out of it. And the one thing that we really talked about was you know just building a wall, um, uh, playing well on the back side of the play because you know we felt like on the front side of the play we could get vertical enough to make it cut back. And um, the key to that is just playing so well on the back side of the play. Uh, the guys, you know, Miles Cole had some big tackles on that. Duda had some big tackles. Tony had some big tackles. And uh, again, our linebackers, I thought they played really well tonight. What does it mean to the team to win a game like this and dominate in the last minute of the game? 
You know, it's big because we talk all the time. I mean, you win games, um, you know, you win games up front. And it's great to have great skill, and, and we do, and got a really good quarterback. But you win games up front. You know, they're, any good football team is good up front. And so um, I think the, the one thing that's really fun right now is that offensive line is really bought in to running the football. And, uh, you know, they they talk about it all the time. They give me a hard time, you know. If, kind of a running joke a little bit right now and uh, you know they always say hey you're that soft guy that wants to pass the football so much and they're just doing it you know just because I give them a hard time about hey you got to be able to run the football when people know you're running it. Um, defensively um, you know the, this uh, really the second week and really uh, the second half and in this game we played really well up front on the defensive side of the ball. Um, you know, we didn't get sacks last week. We put a lot of pressure on the quarterback in the second half, and we put a lot of pressure on the quarterback the entire game tonight. Coach, how big was it from that time around the back of the field when you didn't play much of the second half last week? How big was it to have him back tonight? Well, he's ugly, and his mama dresses him funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it's good to see him. Man, it, you know, Rabbit is uh, – so I was asked um, by the TV crew during the week um, – who is most like me? And I said the two number ones. Um, they're the inter energy. You know, Miles Price and Rabbit are the energy of this team. Um, they never shut up, which is a good thing. They're always competing. They're always pushing. And, uh, and he's an extremely smart football player. Um, he has a really high football IQ. And, um, and so he does a really good job of helping us get the things that we need to get into. Um, he, he's such a leader, and so it's huge having him back. It's huge, both the guys that walked in just walked in. I mean, it was absolutely huge to have just Sia back. Um, getting him back was in this game because we did feel like that they were going to try to come out and really run the football. And um, you know, you have a linebacker like him. He's 238 pounds, and um, you know, he's really physical and. I was not surprised that he played well tonight because, man, he practiced like his hair was on fire this week. Got time for about one or two more. So, Lloyd, what's, uh, what's Mason dealing with and what is uh, uh, hanging up there on Bryce? Yeah, so Bryce uh, got dinged up. Uh, we'll see tomorrow exactly where he is on that hit. Uh, don't want to really talk about Mason right now because we got a lot of things going on with him, um, you know, and, and to see. Uh, I'll be surprised if he plays against K-State. Um, but uh, really, you know, I will say that uh, he was in great spirits yesterday. He's frustrated. He wants to play. He wants to be out here. Feels good. Um, just uh, got to work through some things with Mason. Coach, how good was it to see Corey you could step back up like that? It was, it was uh, I walked over to him. I said, now you can play college football. And, and this is why I said that is because, you know, Coy, uh, before the game, I said, man, you just got to stop pressing. And play. I mean, you're here for a reason, and that, that's the thing, man. We've got we've got some guys on this team that have such high care factors, and uh, sometimes they put so much pressure on themselves instead of just you know going out and having fun and and doing what he does every day in practice. And so, I, I think it was huge for him because I think he's going to be able to build off this momentum. Oh, oh wow! Damn, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I'm upset because I didn't have one, but uh, man, that's good, man. That's uh, first of all, this is a good team win coming on the road. We needed this. Uh, we didn't start out how we wanted to this season, but you know, since we got into Big Twelve, Big 12 play, the ball has been rolling, man. So it's just good to come out here and get a win, man. I never won here before, so it was really special coming out here and getting the win, man. Yeah, vice versa. What Rabbit said, um, me coming twenty to one, didn't have a win here, so it was really good uh, uh, coming back with the team. You know, I feel like the guys were really tight today. Like we really like tighten up our circle and really like build a better bond with us and it was a good team win. Uh, I believe it's 17 rushing yards for them. How well did you guys do in the run game? Man, it starts out with practice, man. Just being physical and doing our job. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it goes back to our fundamentals, man. Just being the brand and just everybody's doing their job. That's what coaches just emphasize all week. It's just really just doing your job and just being physical and being dominant and playing with very, very speed and violence. Following up on that, Last year against you guys, Richard Reed was 36 for 148. Dominic Bridger picked that up in pretty good games in the past as well. What do you feel like is the reason why you're older right now, too, Coach, the second half? Uh, we owed him one. 
that's the answer to the question. We owed him one. He came to Lubbock mm-hmm. last year, and he disrespected us. You know what I'm saying? He came out there. He played hard. He's a good player, though. You know, he came out. He, he, uh, he's a good player, but we owed him one. 17 yards. That's the answer to that question. No, nah, no, nah, man, no, nah, no. Nah. It's a, uh, it's all love in the game. But he came out and he played. He had a good game last year. Like he was running the ball. He didn't say a word last game. So it was just like he was just running on us and just having a good time, not saying anything. So we owed him one. You know, what I'm saying no disrespect to the team. He's a really good player. Has to the team, but we owed him one. So that's what this, that's that's that, that's what this whole night was about. Coming out here, and and, and paying that back. Guys, on third and fourth down, they were combined uh, five of twenty-one. What what do you feel like? kind of led to that success on those later downs, just holding them back, not letting them convert? Um, I say it goes just playing our football. Like, Coach McGuire always emphasizes, it's never really about them, it's about us, man. It's really just going out there and playing. It's us versus us, you know. We're, like, facing ourselves in the mirror and just really just dominating and just uh, doing our job. You know, that's what Coach McGuire emphasizes, our, our coaches emphasize, is really just going back to our fundamentals, doing our job, and just playing with effort and technique. Josiah, I know you work with him most of the time, but... What has Mike Dingle brought to your room? Just all those guys. Oh man, <laughs> Dingle is is a character. I, I love I love that boy, man. He he brings so much energy and he brings like a lot of joy to the room. You know, he's he's never he never tried being anything besides himself. That's why I really appreciate. It, and that's why I respect about. I appreciate everyone just being anybody, just being themselves around everybody. He's never really shy to have an opinion about something. And he's always like striving to be great every single day. Like he goes hard and he has a lot of passion for the game. And you know. That brings a lot of positivity to the team. I'm really excited for him and for the, what the future holds for him. Big Ben, on the, on the third and fourth down for you, you had one early where uh, on a fourth and one, you got in Pierce on third down, fourth and so incomplete, turnover on downs, and then they're at the 15 yard line, you came off the edge and knocked down a pass, and then Ray Sean goes up the fourth down play. Just can you tell us about your success with rushing the passer tonight? In um, we've been calling uh that play all week, and I'm just like going home watching practice and going in. I'm just like, hey, during this play, like I gotta be elite. You know what I'm saying? They uh had some keys to where I was able to make those plays where I knew what was going on during those specific plays and everything. So man, just going out there, it was fun, man. I was wanted to, I wanted to sack so bad. I really wanted to sack so bad, but um, you know, I'm just doing my job. We can do, we can say everything, all those nice plays, but when we get in film tomorrow, it's just going to be me doing my job, so. Anything else for these two guys before we let them go? All right, thanks, fellas. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Taj, the best back in the Big 12. Let's roll. That's all. Taylor, you and your guys in y'all's tight end room do so much that won't show up on the stat sheet, and, you know, you go out there, you're kind of rewarded with a, a touchdown grab. I mean, how did it feel to be able to make those plays that, you know, will count towards the scoreline even more. Um, yeah, it's awesome. It was a blessing to get that opportunity to, you know, go out there and put some points on the board, help the team. Um, but, you know, I enjoy doing both, so. Todd, I think a lot of focus has been on, like, the development of the O-line and, mm-hmm. you know, how well you've been performing. But, I mean, Taylor and them do a lot in the run game, mm-hmm. too. What do you have to maybe say about that? Uh, they do a great job just in the run game and the pass game and just holding protections up for our, for our QB to throw the ball. They do an amazing job. It's just a uh, – it's a good time watching them and making making big plays as a tight end. All right, man, you have a, another career night. What can you say about how you're going right now? I know that you're running the ball really hard. Yeah, first and foremost, shout out to God. Uh, if I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here without him. And then uh, just me, uh, the offensive line communication with Baron and the tight ends as well, and just different run fronts running into what Baylor showed us today. Taj, I think the last time Tech had a running back that was on hundred yards rushing was over four games in a row. It means a lot. Just uh, at this university, uh, Texas Tech has known, been known as a passing school, and just me emphasizing as well, being a running back and just coming in having rush, 100 rushing yard games. It's just been fun, and just can't wait to can't wait to see what the future holds and stuff like that. Maybe the second touchdown of the year for Kentucky Tech, y'all ran that same kind of route you came in, and they were keying on Todd with Pierce. Mm-hmm. What were y'all expecting that play that called that you would be got open? Uh, yeah, I looked out there and. Um, I saw there was only one guy on the receiver out there, and he kind of runs a, a route to take him away, and I knew I was going to be um, pretty open because because of uh, you know all the run 
runs we were doing during the night. So, you know, without him, it wouldn't have been so open. And did you run at all in this series? I know you were never all this way in this year, but did you run? Uh, not as much as last year. Last year it was um, a little ridiculous, <laughs> but no, they calmed it down a little bit. Um, but they still call me Raider Cup around the facility a little bit. <laughs> who, who calls you that? Everybody. <laughs> Coach McGuire mostly and the strength staff, but everybody. That first touchdown, was that just one where you kind of knew it was going to you the whole time, or was it just kind of the circumstance of the play? No, it was a different play initially, and Barron checked it, um, and he just threw a perfect ball. Um, yeah. Anything else that caught you? When you have a couple of nights like or when you have a night like this with a couple of touchdowns, <coughs> the fans love the tight end, the coordinator for the tight end. What what uh, what do you have to say? Um, I'm glad they love the tight ends and stuff and I'm glad we could go out there and <coughs> make an impact. Uh, yeah, I'm just glad we can go out there and do that. All right. Thank you guys. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.